Welcome back to another video for Storage Chasers. If this is your first time visiting, thanks for coming. If this is a, a return visit, then you know what you're getting into. And uh, as you can see, truck, trailer hooked up, running. That means we only one thing. That means we are on the road to go pick up another storage unit. And uh, we're going to go check it out and see what's in there. So please stay tuned. Follow the adventure. Okay, we have made it to our location for today. We uh, won this one on storagetreasures.com. Paid a whopping, uh, looks like uh, 280, no, two, 230. And then taxes and applicable fees and all that other stuff. If I had my glasses on, I could probably read it better. But yeah, we walked out of there. 245.10 after all applicable fees. Uh, this is a uh, 10 by 10. And we'll get some pictures of it. This is also a manager unit. So this is what the pictures look like. Alright, it looks like it has a little dog kennel there and some, uh, looks like a mattress or something there. Anyway, these are the uh, pictures and uh, this is the live, live and in person. So what it looks like is a footboard here for a king size bed. There's a couple of uh, box springs, which means king size. It's a king size mattress. There's something behind the mattress. It looks like it might be a headboard or something else in there, but I think that's the headboard. This is the footboard for the king size bed. It's a little folding outdoorsy kind of table up here. Uh, some empty totes, which we knew about. We saw those in the pictures. Empty totes here. We knew about those. Here's a humongous dog kennel. Looks like the gate is in there. Possibly thingy or something. But, yeah, that was really big. That might be something good. A couple of books, maybe. Uh, looks like some home decor. It's a big mirror. Okay, we'll uh, post that right away. Underneath, the, we got a table here. Looks like a couple of lamps underneath the table. Looks like a white ice chest in the back there. Interesting, but uh, we got to get this all cleared out of here today. Load it in the trailer, and we will see you when it's empty. Okay, unit number 2051. Cleaned out. Wall to wall to wall to door. Swept clean what we got here. There's the proof. Proof's in the dustpan. We cleaned it up. We just have uh, this uh, king size box spring, well, half of a box spring set for a king size bed, and our dolly in the trash to go out. And uh, I'll show you what the trailer looks like. Okay, that's everything in the trailer. As you can see, it is a lot heavier. That tall thing in the back, that's a headboard that's got these cubbies in it super heavy me and my wife couldn't even carry it we had to get some help from some other people to carry this thing it was humongously heavy at least 400 pounds i'm guessing footboard is uh crazy it wasn't wasn't as bad heavy but still pretty heavy king size mattress box spring uh the other box springs back there up against the headboard looks like outdoor furniture but uh got a weird table here but uh yeah that's it for now we will show you everything else when we get back to our home base operations. We're going to go get our security deposit back and get on the road. Welcome back to our home base of operations. Yes, we got back here. Uh, we actually got back yesterday, but uh, after moving all this stuff, because some of the stuff is so heavy, we decided not to go and uh, go through the trailer and pull it all off. But we got to do it today because we have to load up to go to the flea market tomorrow. So yeah, got to get it out today. So we're going to set up a tarp out here, uh, probably several tarps, and uh, start pulling out some of the, some of the items. Uh, we may end up leaving the uh, bed in there, uh, the headboard, footboard part, because I don't know if you can see it. 
but that big tall thing and that is standing up that's how tall this thing is and this is a six foot tall trailer and it's almost as tall as the trailer is and that is heavy whoo so that may stay in the trailer but everything else including the box spring and mattress we're gonna have to get out and uh, try not to damage it and get it dirty out here and uh get you get you a view of all, all the cool stuff we got so stay tuned okay we got everything out we're gonna go through it really quick we want to show you what's in the trailer because it's super heavy i told you about this headboard before uh this is a king size it could be even the super king or california king whatever the bigger king is but this is the headboard extremely heavy probably 400 pounds i'm talking heavy uh, it does have a little bit of damage here because when we got it in the unit, it was actually laying on this side Standing up in the unit on this edge. So it is what it is uh, But it is on the side now. This is really interesting. I don't know if you can see how wide that is But it has latches on the back on the tops and what happens is you can actually unlatch this and it opens up for a compartment in here so you can put extra pillows or even like a blanket or something in there. I bet you you could probably fit a couple of small kids in here. I mean, that is that is pretty pretty good size. I mean, it's all even the chain is like covered in material. This is high high tech stuff here. And uh, when stuff looks nice and is heavy and solid wood like this is, that means it's money. And that's the headboard. It gets you information. I don't know. It says some stuff here about it maybe you could read it i don't know this is the footboard which i thought was even cooler because it opens up and a tv pops out of it that is the cool thing and yes we have it powered up here there be a button over here so I'm holding the camera at a funny angle so hopefully you can see it but yeah you push the button and until it goes all the way down I guess and then it stops and it closes the little door and it is this one's wrapped in plastic which is nice this piece is still pretty heavy because the hardware thing in there but this is what we got right now and uh, I think there's some hardware pieces in here that hook the bed I see a couple of rails or something there that might hook the rails to the bed you know the side rail pieces so yeah we have those outside we'll get to those in a minute uh, we have these four pieces of artwork here uh, these these look the same they have some kind of name on them here uh, let me see if I see it in the camera it's really tiny okay there it is right there that's the name on that one uh, this one here is standing sideways, but it says uh, O'Toole here, and then it says number 65 of 950 on this one. And uh, it's in a nice frame. And then it says this here, Shadow Catchers, and then some number there. Uh, this one doesn't have any name on it, no, no, no signature anyway. Uh, probably a cheaper thing because it's got a little barcode thing on it there. We'll have to look that up and see. But yeah, we got uh, four really nice pieces of uh, artwork here. All right, uh, next couple things. Well, well, we'll go with this one here. This is kind of cool. This is uh, one we didn't even see in the unit until we got in the back. We thought it was just a regular ice chest. But uh, no, it is uh, Mr. Yeti. And Mr. Yeti, the value of this when we clean her up is uh, actually pretty close to what we spent on the unit. So that one item there could pay for the entire unit and everything else will be bonus. So, yay. I did have some drinks in it and uh, some smelly beer water that we put over here in this tote. So, if anybody's thirsty, there you go. I don't know how long they've been in there. And then we got, uh, got a couple of gray pillows. Uh, these are the bed rails as soon as I get my shadow off of them <laughs> These are the two bed rails for the bed headboard and footboard that's uh, in the trailer and uh, Then we got these two outdoor 
uh, cushioned chairs. And actually still had like a tag on it, so you can see that's what it is. We have one this side, one the other side. So we have two pieces and they have their cushions on them. And uh, other than they look like maybe a little bit of dog hair got on them from something else, which these headboards or these uh, bed rails have some a little bit of black dog hair on it. And uh, that reason being for the next item, we got this big old Serta dog dog mat it's huge and we got two sections of cage here of kennel cage we got a section of four here with a big door on it and then we got another section of four pieces here uh, so i guess it's a really big i mean this has got to be three three and a half feet tall probably for the kennel uh, the pins are here on the ground we got eight pins I thought I only had four, but I found all of them, so it looks like we can put this thing together, get some pictures of that, and that'll be kind of cool, too. Uh, we did get uh, a couple of uh, other mirrors in there. There's this one here with all these little decorative pieces around it, and then there's this one here. It's got fabric and little tacks around it, kind of cool. There's another ugly piece of uh, artwork over here that's kind of unique. And uh, then we got, well, we do the table on the table. There's a table underneath here. It's got some uh, metal legs and the, it's a wood top, pretty solid wood top. And uh, the little inlay wood pieces and stuff, which is kind of interesting. So somebody may like that. And we got this table here. That's a table inside of a table. Or maybe they just stacked them like this. I don't know. But, yeah, we've got uh, this table and this little table, probably like little, could be little nightstands or something. But we got these. Let me slide this one off of here. So you can see. Yeah, it's a pretty ornate little thing. Nice little uh, table. A nice little other table. Yeah, suitable for anybody's household. Kind of cool. Um, next, we've got... This little uh, mirror dresser type of table here. It's got a little drawer in there. It does have some papers laying in there, so I had to go through those because somebody may be hiding their millions of dollars in there. And uh, yeah, it's kind of a cool thing. Kind of got like a fake alligator, snaky kind of material on there. It's all plastic coated though. Uh, then we also got these two lamps. The uh, shades are kind of kind of funky. This one here uh had some uh issues where it's sealed it's kind of opening up right here but uh yeah they're metal so that's kind of cool we'll check them out see if they got some value plug them in make sure they work uh, we also found this little stool that was in the unit it is what it is no wheels it's just like that so i put it in front of this table and we may try to sell that as a set for like a makeup table i think that'll work pretty good over here uh, we've got the slats for the king size bed that's in there we also have this mattress and these two box springs for the bed that we got and let me see if it says a name or uh, a size it just says uh no just says twin box springs doesn't say it's for a king size or california king and somebody Somebody removed this tag here against the law, so I don't know what size it is, but we'll measure it and uh, determine what size it is, and that'll probably be all we can do, although it says, here we go, it says uh, sedge proof Euro pillow top, it's in fairly good shape, oh, here we go, it's over here, it's a Sealy's Posturepedic, so there you go, now you know as much as I do, and then here's another paper on the other box spring. That was on the bottom and it just says uh, that it's finished 38 by 79 and 35 pounds so that really doesn't help us with knowing what size the bit is but i'm pretty sure it's just a regular king but yeah we'll measure it and then uh what else did we get over here all right we've got this like little round outdoorsy table here a uh, little folder folder table and it comes with a cool little chair so uh, we either sell that or keep that. We also had uh, 
some interesting books that were in the unit. As you can see here, they're, uh, these are all law books, criminal law, criminal law, uh, the uh, Atlas Shrugged. There's a picture from wherever the person was at. There's uh, three more law books or other books. Uh, yeah, don't know, a couple of notebooks. And here's another book. Yeah, so I'm going to look up the books because they're in really good shape and see if they have any value on eBay and try to sell them. That's the best bet for those. Then we got this ginormous -y thing. Yay! This is a pet mate. Uh, needs to have, I mean, it's got a little pins so the top and bottom go together, but it probably needs to have like some bolts or something, screws or bolts, holding it together better. But this is a big old dog. You know, so whatever was in the kennel, he uh, probably had to have this little pet hotel too. So, I mean, it needs a little tweaky here and there, but yeah, that is a the big massive thing. We'll see what this is valued at and try and sell it. Then we've got uh, this tote with a lid, practically new. We got these two smaller totes with lids, practically new. We've got these five colorful ones with lids, probably new. They don't look like they've been used at all. We have these four clear ones here, but no lids. And we got some broken glass and some old picture frames in there. Uh, we got a uh, cool basket, so that'll go probably flea market and we got a bucket and we'll use the bucket for something so that would be good and that is it except for these bags of things here okay uh, these pillows were inside that compartment on the headboard that I was telling you about so if you can see how big that cushion is these and this and this blanket and whatever's in it was inside that compartment. So this is a, uh, that should tell you how how much space there is inside there. I'm gonna lay down there. So we've got a uh, little uh, sock monkey with no name. We've got a blankie. Yeah, here's a looks like a homemade uh, throw. I don't see a tag on it, so yeah. Anything that's homemade should be good, but up, oh, no, nope, there's a tag. I was mistaken. So it'll still probably sell, hopefully sell. All right, then we've got uh, here's a boot cover, <laughs> and there's a boot in it. So yeah, let me see. It says Lou Cheese, Lou Cheese. So whoever Lou Cheese is, I got your boots. Let's see if it's a Lou Cheese boot. And that's what it says. Handmade Lou Cheese boat. Boot. Boat. I don't know where that came from. Uh, it's got some numbers in there. And uh, yeah, I guess it's a size 90. Yeah. Or a niner, whichever you prefer. Yeah, but it comes with, uh, you know, boot socks. That's kind of weird because it's probably because of the material that's on there. I am going with, uh, whew, that does look like actual alligator. Yeah, that's, uh, it has seen some days of wear. And uh, we got a match set, I'm hoping, since we got two matching socks. And, yeah, this is going to take forever. Uh, it says the same thing, looks about the same, and same size. So, yeah, I'm going to guess these two boots are the same. Again, these were inside that little compartment in the headboard, along with a pair of rain boots, rubber rain boots. And these are going to go on eBay if I can clean them up because it's got a couple little marks here and there. But uh, for those of you who saw the name, <laughs> you'll know why. Yeah, these are made in Italy. But uh, if you can read down in the bottom, as I did... Yes, that says Burberry. So, yeah. Okay. Interesting. High-end rain boots. When you find them inside a headboard of a bed in a storage unit in South Carolina. Is that the weirdest thing you've ever seen? If not, we've got two bags of stuff here.
All right, we've got uh, not interesting clothes, not interesting clothes, not interesting clothes. Here's a sequined, no, that's kind of beaded. Here's a Sachin and Bobby. <laughs> and uh, more sequins and sequins and, and sequins and sequins. All right, and this other bag had a furry-ish coat. Let's see what it says. It says Donna Saberier's Fabulous Furs. Medium. I need the still sign that says actual fur. That would be the one. Shell, 100% acrylic. There you go. It is fake. Fake fur. So you can look like an orangutan. It's a vest. So they're kind of cool. All right, here's some uh, plastic pants, jacket, plastic jacket, rain jacket. And it says, uh, be people, re people, free people. There you go, free people, really thin. Little rain jacket for a small person. Uh, here's a blue outfit. Thought I saw the tag still on there. No, there's a tag, it says it's gray. Gray, gray Lynn. Did a gray Lynn? I got your clothes right there. Some kind of blue top. Here is some uh, BDG. Ooh, that's a, some shorty skirt. That's a that's a that's a shorty. Yeah. And there's some white things. And here's some uh, here's some fancy schmancy. Uh, what is that top? It's some kind of some kind of a top. That's made by. Let's check the name here, and uh, somebody will tell me because I have no idea. B C B G Max Erzera. Yeah, that's what we got. So yeah, you've seen pretty much everything in here. So other than the broken glass and frames, everything else that we got in this unit, well, probably not these frames with the pictures in them. Everything else in this unit has sellable items. Everything else in here is sellable. We will make money on every every piece. Now nah, I won't sell the the old sodas, but yeah. Normally it's uh, 85 to 90 percent of the units we get are trash, but this particular one, no, these are this bed we looked up online, uh, new was around four thousand dollars. Somebody paid four thousand dollars for this so that they could have their plasma the little plasma TV pop up out of the the footboard. Uh, so we're gonna have to measure the hole and see what size TV will mount in there and stuff and somebody may want to buy it. If so, uh we will have this on our marketplace it'll be pretty high but yeah uh the artwork uh the ones that with the signatures and numbers i look up and uh we'll try to price accordingly these ones we may have on marketplace i have like five or six that i have to research that have signatures and uh, numbered uh the other ones with just signatures uh, most of the time i don't really worry about those as much uh we'll just uh we're just like stockpiling all this home decor stuff and we're going to take it all to the flea market at one time and we may sell these 20 30 bucks you know unless i get you know enough time or help i can get all of these researched correctly and then maybe we can get a better price for them on like a marketplace but for now nope that's what it's gonna be so yeah you can see our vastness of our our yard now and we had to have we have to get the stuff out of the trailer because we have to load it up go to the flea market tomorrow Tomorrow is our Wednesday, but it's also the uh, inauguration day for uh, the incoming uh, president. <coughs> yeah, and uh, we'll see how that pans out. You know, we're a little worried about uh, how things are going to go with that. I know that uh, in our area, we are near a military base, and we also have National Guard armories, and everybody is on alert this weekend, and they were all at, uh, at their facilities this week so they're uh, possibly anticipating that there may be an issue uh, I don't believe so in our particular area but you know be alert be aware of what's going on in your community you know that's uh, always important nothing political here we, lo we love our president you know we pray for him whoever it may be so he's got to do a hard job and uh, yeah got to support him no matter what so in the meantime Please like, share, subscribe, comment. If you see something in the pictures that you want, it'll probably be gone already by the time you message me. But, you know, hey, you never know. 
But until next time, as always, we will talk to you later.